Hello and welcome back to Crackpot Sports. Today I thought we'd talk about Deshaun Watson. He's really upset with the Houston Texans front office. I think he has every right to be. I guess they told him he would have uh, input on the coaches and all this different stuff, and he wanted Eric Bieniemy, and they haven't even interviewed the guy. So, and not only top of that, the Houston Texans, because of Bill O'Brien, he left that team in a mess. They have no first round or second round pick this this year. They are twenty million dollars over the cap going into the twenty twenty one season. So, if I'm Deshaun Watson, and I'm usually against this, I feel if you signed a contract. You should own up to your contract. But I think I would force try and force a trade. I think he deserves to play for a better team. He's one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. He takes a beating each week because his offensive line is so terrible, which is he's a mobile quarterback. He shouldn't be being hit that often. But they're just that bad. So I'm looking around to see what teams need a quarterback for next season. There's a lot of them. You have New England. The Colts, if Rivers doesn't come back. Uh, you have... The Broncos, you have Washington, the Bears always need a quarterback. Uh, the Vikings, the Lions, if they don't keep Stafford. Uh, the 49ers and the Jets, depending on what they do in the draft. So there's a lot of teams that could use a, a great quarterback. He's a great young, and he's only 25. He'll turn 26 uh, before the start of next season, I think sometime in September. So who makes sense on the trade? And after thinking about it, I'm going to go with the Denver Broncos. I think the Denver Broncos need to make a move. You you realize in your division, because we learned this year, if you saw Washington is in the playoffs with their terrible record, you don't have to be the best team in the league to make the playoffs. You have to be the best team in your division to make the playoffs. So your first objective, they always say, is to beat the teams in your division. So look at the quarterbacks in their division. You have the best player in the NFL, who's a quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, plays for the Chiefs. Justin Herbert for the Chargers looks like the real deal. He looks like he has all the tools. We, you know, the Chargers do have a history of screwing things up, but on paper, he's a damn good quarterback. And then you have Derek Carr, who's not great, but he's not terrible either. He's middle of the road. The, and I, I, I could probably could have put them in Deshaun. If they would get Deshaun Watson, that would be an upgrade over Derek Carr. But they're over the cap also, so I don't know if they would have the room to make the, the deal. Here's my trade proposal. Denver Broncos, two first-round picks, and Drew Locke for Deshaun Watson. Houston would get a couple picks they would need. A young quarterback who could make it, might not make it. He's a, he's a, at times looks really good. I'm talking about Drew Locke. At times he looks good, and at times he looks terrible. So you don't know if he's going to take it to the next level or not. But you're going to rebuild. You look at what Miami did a couple years ago. They traded everyone away, except in with Houston, and got some picks, built a team, and were this close to making the playoffs this year. Probably next year, they'll make it to the playoffs in, in the next level. I think Houston needs to strip it down because J.J. Watt will be 32 at the start of next season. He's been a great player. He's a Hall of Famer, but he's not the player he once was. And to be honest with you, if I'm the Texans, I try and trade him also. As, as sad as that sounds, as a Texan fan, if I'm a Texan fan, look at that roster. Look at no picks. Look at being over the salary cap. You got to rebuild. You're going to have to strip it down and rebuild. And I think that's what you start with. You try and get as many picks as you can. I mean, they have eight picks in the draft, but they're all at the bottom of the draft. They're, I think, three seventh round, three sixth round picks, and so on. So it's they're not great picks. Those picks are not going to be impact players, most likely. You could get a steal so once in a while. You get that six round pick, Tom Brady, that becomes you know a fantastic player. But that's what I would do if I'm the Houston Texans. I start making some moves, and I call Denver. And Denver, if I'm Denver, I make that move. They need a quarterback. They need that guy to compete with those two other quarterbacks. They do that, they can prop, they can compete for the division. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell a friend, and I'll be back later on. Bye.